Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you my uh, this pressure cleaner I'm fixing. It has a engine that I can't even find a name brand on it, but it says China, so it's a China engine and a China pressure cleaner. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting these. That engine takes about 20 pulls to get it started, even when I clean out the carburetor and everything. Uh, I just fixed it for someone and that's how good it runs. It still gets a little and it doesn't run great. Um, it's only 2,000 PSI, so you could like do better with a garden hose if you wanted. And uh, this isn't that great, but I'll just show you how it works real fast and how it sprays. And um, yeah, I'll just do a little review on it. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't work too good. I mean, it's decent. It's good for maybe if you want to wash your car. I just washed off this uh, riding mower with it. The engine was pretty dirty. It did a decent job, but uh, it took me like an hour and a half to get this thing clean. Uh, I took off the shroud and a few other things just to clean it. And uh, it did an okay job on it. But that's about what it's good for. It's not good for cleaning the house. I already tried that. And, um, it says OHV, but it's not an OHV engine, uh, it's just a flat head, as you can see. And it makes weird noises all the time like that. This looks like a pressure cleaner that, uh, was maybe sold at Harbor Freight or something, um, for not too much money. Even when it's warm, and you would think it would start pretty easy, it doesn't. Um, it takes a, about 10 pulls to start, even when it's warm. You have to mess with the choke and everything. But, um, overall, uh, I wouldn't buy a pressure cleaner unless it has a Briggs engine, a Tecumseh engine, or a Honda engine on it. Uh, maybe a, like, Suzuki engine. I have one with a, a Suzuki engine on it. Um, or a Kawasaki engine would be good, but don't buy one with a engine that doesn't even have a name on it. Um, I think that's meant to look like a Honda engine, but it's not. And um, the tires go flat on this. It makes random noises all the time, like screeching. Uh, and it's just not built good. I even when I opened up the carburetor, it was very simple and it wasn't even like that great. But I guess it runs, so yeah. But like I said, it says OHV right over there, and as you can see, it's a flat head, it's not even an OHV. I checked under there, I took off the head, it's a flat head, it's not an OHV head. So, um, hope you like this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks, bye.